Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing my October beauty favorites where I share with you all of the makeup products as well as a couple other things that I've been loving. So if you want to see that, you just want some good makeup talk, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And normally at the beginning of every monthly favorites, I like to give a shout out to a channel. But today, I'm gonna do a self promo. <laughs> so I just want you guys to know November 1st I am starting a membership on my YouTube channel now if you've tuned into my last couple of lives you already know what's up but I know not everybody has the time to watch a live so basically what I'm doing it's only going to be three dollars a month on the membership every month there will be a membership exclusive tutorial most likely going through some of my Pat palettes my Natasha palettes whatever you guys want there will be one tutorial a month and if you do join me on my lives you of course will get a sticker as well so those are the perks for joining the membership just one exclusive tutorial a month I will just see that you're a member on my lives but please do not feel obligated to join nothing on my channel is going to change at all there will be no difference if you do not join the membership it is another option to support my channel if you wish but like I said no big deal if you don't want to <laughs> I just wanted to give that option so I think it makes things easier for me if that sounds like something that you're interested in November 1st there will be a membership button down below and you can press that and join I will talk more about that in other places once it's here let's get into my favorites now at the beginning of the month I did a haul from derm store and one of the products from that haul that I picked out was by Tula skincare and this is the mineral magic oil free mineral sunscreen it is SPF 30 and I really love this for every day you guys it doesn't leave a white cast on the skin it actually comes out a peach color it does whiten a little bit as you spread it out it doesn't leave a white cast at all it really is truly clear and it's hydrating for my dry skin so that's what I look for when it comes to sunscreen is basically I want it to feel like a skincare product and this really does so this is a sunscreen that I've been enjoying a lot I haven't done too much research on skincare products but I don't believe I've ever tried like a mineral sunscreen and I really like this it's oil free my skin's been liking it so this has been a really great sunscreen that I think is worth looking into all right next we have a few tools that I wanted to talk about so rough launched their holiday collection this month. We have been in love with two of the brushes specifically. They're both face brushes. So this is the 31 brush and I love this to apply liquid foundation. I am not really a fan of brushes to apply liquid foundation with. I'm definitely more of a sponge girl but this is one of my all-time favorite foundation brushes. It does have a angled flat top here and I don't know if this is a blend of synthetic and natural hairs but I don't know you can see kind of the texture of the hairs here and I think it really does help to spread out the foundation it doesn't leave any streaks which is a problem that I have with 99% of the brushes that I use to apply foundation it's just the best foundation brush that I've ever used and I'm still a sponge girl through and through but for those situations where one I'm too lazy to wet my sponge or two I just want to use a brush I want fuller coverage this has been my go-to the next brush that I love is a number 30. You will see me use it in my bronzer application. So this is great. I've used this for a couple different purposes. The first purpose I've been using this for is finishing powder. So think hourglass finishing powder. Once all of my makeup is done, I will take a slightly glowy powder. I'll use this brush because it is not too dense. It has very long hair, so it really allows me to buff in the finishing powder. I also like to use it for bronzer just because I feel like it's a really great shape. It's not too precise so if you're looking for a precise contour or bronzer application this isn't going to be the brush for you but if you just want that all over very quick bronze easily blended this has been awesome and then lastly sorry a quick shout out to their organizational or vanity systems they are amazing I have a whole video on them basically they're just these black acrylic containers a different shape they have magnets on the side so you can configure your vanity setup however you would like highly recommend those as well they are 
amazing. So I've been loving this entire holiday collection from Refer. It truly is my favorite collection that they've come out with. I have a concealer that I've been thoroughly enjoying and it is from Iconic London. So I was lucky enough to do an Instagram sponsorship with them and so they sent these concealers and they are amazing, you guys. So skin-like. They give a medium to full coverage and I love the undertones and they just look really smooth on the skin. One of my favorite concealers that I've tried recently. There's been a lot of good ones between the one size, ABH, and the Tom Ford and this one sits right up there with them. It is truly a phenomenal concealer. It is a little bit thicker than I prefer but I love the finish on it because it's so smooth and the color just seems to be so perfect. I know Iconic London is probably more accessible in the UK so if you are in the UK definitely look into these. If you have a Morphe store here in the US you might be able to find these as well but I love these concealers. They're very nice and they look very soft on this skin. Next up this is a non-traditional bronzer meaning it's not a bronzer but I've been using it as a bronzer. This is from Huda Beauty and it's the glowish line. This is the luminous pressed powder and I didn't give this a glowing shining review but I actually love this shade light medium as a bronzer. So this is like a glowy bronzer for me. Obviously if you get it in your actual skin shade it's supposed to be used as a powder foundation which I hate it for. I actually like using the light shade as an all over finishing powder just to add a subtle glow to the skin. If you use a dense brush it's way too glowy to be powder foundation in my opinion but this makes a beautiful bronzer so I do suggest if you want a natural glowy bronzer that's very neutral this is really great and it's great for natural makeup days for me because it's not too bronzery it's quite close to my skin tone because these are supposed to be skin tone matches not necessarily bronzer matches but it looks so natural and I love the glowy finish that it gives anyways if you get this in a shade that's too deep for you try it as a bronzer it's beautiful I've been choosing this over my other actual bronzers so yeah <laughs> Okay, this one should come as no surprise to you. This baby is probably one of my favorite launches this month. This is the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush Palette. Incredible. Now, the colors are very, very bright, so I would say if you're very fair, maybe rethink this, but I do find his formula very easy to work with, very malleable, very easy to blend, so this is going to work on a huge range of skin tones. I honestly believe if you have a deep, 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 dark skin tone, this is going to work on you. If you have a skin tone like myself, use a light hand, particularly with the powders. The powders are very pigment packed. You'll notice in this formulation that the creams are a little bit more natural, whereas it's weird because with his individuals of these, it was the cream that was super pigmented and then the powder that wasn't. It seems reversed this time, but nonetheless, amazing formula. The cream doesn't mess up the foundation underneath. It works great over powder, powder blushes, blend beautifully. Just use a light hand if you are on the lighter side. You can mix colors. There's a lot of versatility with this. I'm so impressed with this. I think it's a great value. I did see that this did restock on Sephora and I am crossing my fingers that it's going to stay that way for the Sephora event, hopefully, but it's worth getting it at full price. Like I understand we want to wait, but if it sells out again, I can say that Patrick Todd doesn't restock his stuff very often, so. No pressure, but pressure. I'm filming this actually on Thursday, so I'm not planning on this actually going up until a few days ahead, so we'll see if it's still in stock or not. I don't know. Highlight. I didn't want to love this as much as I did because it's quite pricey. This is the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter, and this is a highlighter that came out in the Celestial Odyssey collection. It comes in this a beautiful gold compact and it's a shade lunar nude and then as you can see it has the most beautiful embossment the only turn off to this is that it is $60 it's one of the most expensive highlighters you will probably buy and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's worth it but I'm gonna tell you it's it's really really good it's one of my favorites it's a gorgeous highlight this is probably my favorite highlight that Pat McGrath has come out with I did get asked if I prefer this or the divine glow highlighter so here's the thing I think that this is better than than the Divine Glow highlighter. There's something about this highlight that looks I don't want to say more skin-like, but it's just so much more lightweight on the skin. I don't know. This highlight is a very special formula. It applies seamlessly. It's beautiful. You guys can see that glow that I have going on. But I would personally suggest the Divine Glow highlight over this just because of the price. I mean, I don't think anybody really needs to pay $60 for a highlight, and if you're tight for money, definitely get the Divine Glow. Divine Glow is great, but if you don't mind spending the extra little bit of money, I, I, 
or a lot of bit of money. I love this. Really, really good. It's a favorite of mine this month. All right, let's move on to eyes. I have a few palettes that I wanted to talk about. I tried a lot of palettes this month. My October palette rankings, it's going to be long. And again, these are always subject to change because I actually film my monthly palette rankings in the middle of the next month. So I have more time to play with the palettes that I tried this month. So as I continue to dip back into the other palettes that I tried, these rankings might be different. But as it stands right now, let's talk about the palette that I'm wearing right now on my eyes. I had to put in the Viseart Bijouette palette and I'm also putting in Cashmere, both of these, but the Bijouette is what I have on my eyes right now. This to me was the most exciting Viseart launch in a long time for me. First of all, I love the packaging. I love that they're starting to add designs on their components and the color stories were really fresh for the brand and I'm just so excited and the quality, so good. So these are the Eton Du lines, so they are a bigger pan. The Bijouette, first of all, the packaging, yes. And this is the colorful one. So this is the one that I went for. I wanted a little pop against the pale pink for my eyeshadow today. And this has some really gorgeous jewel tones in here. They're not very light. This palette actually has a lot of vibrancy to it. Not brightness, but it's like a deep vibrancy. It's, it's jewel tones. So today I'm playing with the blues and greens on my eye. Really easy to create this look and it looks much more complicated than that. The quality on this is great. So if you think that this is a color story that you're going to use, highly recommend this. The quality is just beautiful. Now the Kashmiri, which also came out with this, is a much more wearable one and this is one that I love. This is my kind of everyday color story. This half of the palette is going to be more neutral, whereas this half is more mauvey pinky. This is very similar to the vibes of the Natasha Denona Retro palette. The, so if you like the retro or even the glam, it's like glam and retro had a baby. So if you like those from Natasha Denona, I think you would really like this. Again, the formula is so beautiful. I'm really excited about this palette from Viseart. Like I said, one of their best launches in a long time. The quality has stepped up. Color stories have stepped it up. The inspiration has stepped it up. I've been having so much fun with these. I see so many different looks that I can create and this is just the beginning, this crazy blue green look with that palette. Okay, the next palette that I have, unfortunately, I don't think you can get it anymore. I do believe it's been discontinued at this point, but I had to give my Natasha Denona gold palette a little bit of a shout out this month. I didn't try it for the first time this month, but I brought it back out because for a short time it was available on Sephora and Natasha Denona did say that once it sold out on Sephora, that was it, no mas, no more couldn't get it anymore and I'm sad I'm sorry by the time this monthly favorites is up it seems that it's gone for good it's been discontinued but I did buy a fresh one so that it could last me a few more years and I've had a lot of fun playing with this again and pulling it back out you have a lot more golden neutral tones, and I always want to use these greeny blue tones but in reality this is quite a neutral palette great for every day the formulas are phenomenal one of my all-time favorite Natasha Denona palettes and it's been resurrected because because of that little bit of news that we had. I did a whole live on this palette because it's just that good. And if you missed out, you snooze, you lose. I, I told you, told you it was back for a short time. I did my job, you gotta do your part. So we're gonna move on to lips now and I've been really into lip liners. So I actually have two different lip liners to talk about today. So I pulled out the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Crayons again. So I bought these a while ago and they were put in my drawer. I didn't forget about them, but recently I've just been grabbing for them again and I I love these. These are so good. So Patrick Ta has the best colors, at least with the two that I have. I think they're amazing colors. So I have She's Proud and Oh She's Single. Both of these are fabulous, but I do love the tones of these. I find them to be very flattering because of the tone of them. They can almost contour the lips and make the lips look fuller. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. It's a press up and I just don't like it. But I will say the shape of this angled tip is really easy for applying this along the lips. Sometimes I'll even just put these all over my whole lip, like waste the product, but I'll use them as almost a lipstick. They are a bit drying all over the lips, but it's worth it. It really lasts all day when you do it. It's, think of it as like a liquid lipstick. So these are phenomenal. And then the last lip pencil, and actually the last makeup product that I have to talk about for this month is the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Kylie. I just love love this color and I really like the formula of her lip liners 
If you recall before she did her rebrand and got all new manufacturers, the lip liners in her product, the actual lip liner itself would fall into and out of the component. Not the case with this. It's nice and sturdy. It's in there. So these seem much better quality to me. They are just as smooth and easy to apply. And this is just a great everyday lip liner color. Again, to kind of contour the lip, it has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. I have the Kylie liquid lip on top, which is a little bit more pink than the lip liner, but they're a pretty combo. I don't know how great it goes with my eye look, but I wanted to use this. So that is it for the makeup. I did want to give some love to my new purses in my collection. Well, of course, makeup is my number one. Naturally, I love clothes. I love accessories. I love jewelry. I love purses. And I've been looking for the perfect coach purse that I wanted. I really like contemporary purse brands. Kate Spade, Coach. Kate Spade is my number one favorite purse brand, honestly. As much as I would love to grow my Chanel, Louis, Gucci collection, <laughs> doesn't make sense for me in my um in my point of life uh maybe when i'm older but we like contemporary purses like kate spade and coach and i haven't bought a coach purse in a very very long time always find myself like buying kate spade and i'm talking coach outlet too like i don't even shop at the coach at the mall i like coach outlet <laughs> so i've been eyeing waiting for the time that a coach purse has stood out to me and jlo actually collaborated with coach outlet and she came with some of the cutest purses and they're selling out at this point at the time that this video is up i don't even know what's going to be available anymore but i got this one and this one is definitely not available anymore last i checked the red version of it was but i got this shearling bag i don't know the name of it at the top of my head right now but how cute is this for the winter now it is teeny tiny so i have the biggest iphone right now and this is how much of it but it fits in this bag because it is a little bit wider i absolutely love the chain handle and you can unclip it and hold it like this if you would like to as well. I don't know, I just think it's super cute. Now you guys, I really love small tiny purses like these because I am only what? 410 give or take i'm not sure 411 on a good day. So this for me on my tiny body. Look. It is so cute. My, my outfit by the way is from Abercrombie. I got it in the petite section. Again, I am only 4'10". This maxi is perfect. It goes right down to my ankles. And then this crop top set. Anyways, that's beside the point. <laughs> I just bought this though, so it might be available. But how cute is this? It's so nice and tiny. I think it's going to be super cute for the winter and just to kind of carry around your phone in. So I got this. And then the other purse that I got, I know, I got two. So not only did I say I was looking for a coach purse, I ended up with two. But I thought this is just like a quick cute little everyday bag but i also got this beauty right here and again this actually was in the shearling and it was also in a cream color with a snake skin handle it was gorgeous but i wanted something that i didn't have like i have a cream bag so i saw this red bag and i thought it was spicy and beautiful i love the top handle here and the detail of this chain absolutely sold me uh, you can take these handles off as well but I thought th this bag was absolutely gorgeous last I checked this color was still available just because I don't imagine a lot of people buying a red purse but I have all the neutral colors already besides black I don't have a black purse which I know is crazy I'm still looking for the perfect black purse to me the perfect black purse though is a Chanel and that's not happening anytime soon so <laughs> but anyways how cute is this so again this is the size against my little body Anyways, and by the way, the only reason why I talk about the brand names, why I choose contemporary over luxury is because I do have a majority luxury makeup channel, but luxury makeup is very different than fashion and handbags and jewelry and all that. I can't afford that. The makeup is as close as it's going to get. Anyways, that is all I have for this month's favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what some of your favorite products were that you tried this month. Was there anything that I tried that you really love? Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.